Well, I have um, been an artist my whole life. Um, even as a child, I can remember just always wanting to make art. You know, I, I look to all kinds of things around me for inspiration. Um, I read a lot about the different, of course, myths and folklore that inspire, you know, the real depth of my work. But the patterns and um, color come from nature. I love the outdoors. Um, living here in Franklin County, we, we go hiking, we go kayaking, and all of this, I take a camera with me, so um, I can shoot all those colors that I see or patterns that I see and bring those back to use in my work. And I look to all those things when I'm working. Now sometimes the patterns just come to me. You know, I just put the, put the color, get the dye on, and then when I start with, with the ink, um, you know, I just just put on there whatever comes into mind. And um, I like that. I like that kind of freedom in my work. I think that, um, you know, it's important to stay creative in your work and not be so tightly woven into, um, you know, a, a pattern or someone else's pattern or work. I think um, it's important to stay, you know, true to your own ideas. Gourds are so wonderful because of the unique characteristics they have, the different shapes they take on, the beautiful modeling and color that they possess, um, the different sizes and varieties. And in the beginning, they kind of speak to you and they say, well, I look like a fish, I want to be a fish. I look like a vase, you know, make me into a beautiful vase. And, and so they help you along in the beginning. Um, but as I've gotten into them, I mean, as I've, I've really taken them on as my medium, I've gotten to know them. I mean, I, I'm familiar with the varieties, the shapes, what they can do, and in my mind, I know which ones I can use for what in the sculptures that, you know, the concepts I have. They're a very, of course, ancient object because, you know, they've been around forever. Um, and they were used in the beginning as utilitarian items, bowls, bases, um, tools. Um, but in some cultures, they played a, a significant role in their storytelling and in their creation myths. And it, it's those stories and um, uh, the, the myths and folklore that surround them that really inspire my work now. The piece behind us uh, is a multi-tiered sculpture. Uh, it, it contains 26 different gourds and um, it's titled Seed of Life for All She Holds. And it was inspired by some of the creation myths that I've been reading about and the uh, gourd as a fertility symbol. And it is um, a piece that depicts um, several different female figures of different ethnicities um, holding one another, propping one another up, and um, basically holding the orb at the top, which is the globe, but it's also a seed that has opened up and life is, is springing forth. I, I get so much joy out of being able to do this every day. I do this for a living. Um, I'm here in my studio today and I, I live two blocks away. I, I feel so blessed in my life to have um, this thing handed to me, you know, my grandfather gave me these gourds and it took me a long time to figure it out, but I really feel like it's my path in life. Um, I feel so fortunate. They bring me so much happiness. Uh, they bring happiness to other people, you know, and I think that's the biggest joy that I get is when I do an exhibit or I have a show, the people that come into my booth and are just wowed, they just, they're amazed by, what I can do with a gourd, what it can become. And I think that's a real magical thing to take a humble little dirty gourd that is basically dead off of its vine and revive it, you know, giving it this life as art.